Our next speaker is someone that I've watched for years and years and years as an iconic agent at Keller Williams. She was a pillar at Keller Williams. I believe a regional director at Keller Williams. Everybody loves her. Everybody wants to be her, including me. So uh, help me welcome to the stage, Jana Caudell, everybody. Woo! Rock star extraordinaire. Hi, everyone. Oh, it is bright. I just had to make a mad dash to the bathroom because they don't give you time to pee around here, do they? So, <laughs> all right, don't be intimidated by these numbers because I know they're so large. <laughs> but I'm going to add a one here, and I'm going to add, wait a minute, a one here <laughs> by next year. I'm going to help Dave Kennard get to those 100,000 agents. I am a gamma, I was a delta, and I will be a beta next quarter. So, a little bit about me. First of all, I want to know who are the realtors in the room. Not just licensed agents. I want you to stand up, because this company is about you. I am a realtor. I know what it's like to be a realtor. I'm a realtor in two states, so I do get the one cap. Yay! I had a commission last week for $70,000, and I got every bit of it. So who's the realtors in the room? Please stand up. In the boots, on the ground, doing the hard work every single day. All of you, this company's for you. Nothing against you coaches and you recruiters and you leaders. We love you too. But we are the ones that are going to take this company to the next new heights. So, how many of you have 100 or less in your organization? Don't be embarrassed, stand up. Let me see you. 100 or less. I don't care if you have one, five, 10, stand up. So, a year ago at um, Mexico, um, I showed up, I think I had 30 some people total. And I was being, you know, I felt very intimidated. You know, we're all intimidated. We all were like, oh, I'd love to make that much per month, et cetera. I've made a boatload of money selling houses. I've sold, luckily, over a billion dollars worth of real estate. And I'm celebrating 25 years in the business come November. So I'm very proud of what I've accomplished as a realtor. I'm more proud that I'm an EXP realtor now, though. See, I was the unrecruitable. I was the one that got Keller Williams when there were only 8,000 agents. My husband and I opened the very first Indiana franchise. We only did it because there wasn't one in our state and we needed a better place to be an agent. I was pregnant with our fourth child. I have four boys. Fourth boy in my belly. My husband's like, let's do this. And I'm like, let's don't. Um, and I'm super nervous about it, but I'm like, you know what? I needed a better place to be an agent. We opened the Keller Williams franchise. He was the OP. Two months into it, three months into it, he's like, this really isn't a business worth owning. So then I had to become the OP. So I'm pregnant. I'm leading a mega agent team. At one point, I was Gary Keller's role model agent in his group, all those good things, and we're just exhausted and we it was just crazy so then all of a sudden they say we want you to be a regional director so I'm like yay let's do that so I'm a leader of leaders I love to lead leaders I love to lead high dynamic people to greater heights so I seventh leveled my team so that I could go lead 21 market centers that was going great everything was wonderful I was helping, that was through seven to 10, which is the worst market ever. We were growing in productivity, culture, every single thing. And then all of a sudden, I got fired. And they said, we are not a fit. And I'm like, you're damn right, we're not a fit. So anyway, long story short, my whole world got turned upside down in one day's time. Everything I had was in that company. I owned my own office. 
I was a franchise owner, I was a regional director, and I had a top producing agent team. My whole world got turned upside down because I had these titles that really honestly meant nothing. And I became an independent for six solid years, and I swore that I would never join another franchise or a large organization ever again. I was a scorned woman. I was sad. I felt like people betrayed me. I put all my eggs in that basket, and I believed them, and it didn't work out for me. Some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. Gene Frederick called me when there are 300 and some agents, and I said, sorry, Gene, hell no, right? Sorry. <laughs> I'm a Christian, but I cuss a little. Um, <laughs> I actually was just like, I mean, my gate was shut. But here's, the gate could have been opened if someone would have complimented me, congratulated me, or consoled me. I was sad, I was broken, and my light, which I used to have a big old light, but people would, my light just burn out. I just needed someone to tell me I was okay, and I was good, and that I deserved, you know, or didn't deserve what happened to me, but it didn't matter, okay? I decided to be better versus bitter. So I kind of went on to um, move to Florida. I moved to Naples, Florida. I still had my Indiana team. I'm like, I'm out of the cold weather. I'm going to go live the life I want to live. So my husband and I bought a nice house in Naples, Florida, and that's where we reside 100% of the time. In the meantime, I had no desire to sell real estate there. But have you ever been to Naples, Florida? It's pretty darn nice. And all of you that are making a shit ton of money right now, I'd love to sell you a waterfront property. <laughs> that, that house, you said, what, 2.5? That would be about 20 million in Naples, Florida. So anyway, I am a born and raised Indiana girl. I can sit at the kitchen table with a farmer. I'm a Holstein dairy farmer, um, work ethic. And I can also sit at those $20 million houses and sell them too. So my, what I'm gonna share with you today, because James said, oh my God, Jana, you have a lot of slides. And I said, don't worry about it. I'm a high D personality. I'm gonna whip through them. So here it goes really, really fast. Have your goal, make a choice. I made a choice last year in Mexico that I was going to rise up and be the leader that I know I am, that God made me, and I'm going to get this done. Create a plan. I'm going to give you some tools. You're going to be, we're going to download them. You can take all these tools home so that you too can have your own plan. Know your numbers. Numbers are the language of business, right? For our agent business, you should know your numbers. For your traction business, know your numbers. I know that right now I have 121 people instead of 116. Super excited about that. But create that plan. Make that list. I'm going to tell you I'm an ADD, and I had 15 pages of list in 15 notepads. Right? Get one notepad. Call it EXP Attraction. Make your list and pick up the phone. There's three people in this room that were on my list that I didn't call. Sharon Evans. I used to coach Sharon Evans. I didn't make the call. I need water. Um, Sean Kokoska. Sean put me on a panel and interviewed me, and I didn't even mention EXP to Sean. I, I used to teach with Sean at Howard Britton. So just work smarter and not harder, and don't make this difficult. Commitment, clarity, and consistency. Real quick on consistency. I heard Brent say he does it on Fridays. Fridays would come around, I'm like, oh my God, how's he doing on Fridays? I can't do it on Fridays. Hang on. So what? Okay. So my consistency plan is super easy. I theme my days. First of all, I theme my year. My year this year is grow. So everything I do, it's all about, is this going to help me grow? Is this helping my agents grow, my team grow, my production grow, my rev share grow? Anything about grow. Consistency. I theme my days. Monday is Massive Monday. I just have to do one thing that's massive. Make one phone call to maybe an agent or a team or somebody that does massive production or massive influence and that's it. Tuesdays, Talented Tuesdays. Pick up one thing, call somebody that's talented. 
Again, what do those top producers want? They want to be congratulated, complimented, or consoled. Okay? They don't get, we don't get praise. No one thanks us. In fact, they attack us. I have many, many jealous people in my local marketplace that think that I'm either a bitch, hard to work for, or they're just plain jealous because I have more money than they do. But you know what? I'm the first person who would give, share, and help them grow their agent business. So just reach out to them. They need love too. Because again, if their gate's shut, it's probably because no one's paying attention to them. Dig deep, find out what's wrong, and what you can do to help them. How to be an attractive attractor. You have to be sold yourself. We've all talked about this through enthusiasm. The last four letters of enthusiasm is I am sold myself. I was not fully sold on EXP but when I came on board. I didn't even put it on my profile for six months. Or six, yeah, six months. One of my growth partners says, Jana, are you ever going to tell anyone that you're with EXP? The moment I did, things happened for me. So be loud, be proud. This company is the best model out there. Agent success equals attraction success. What got you popular in your agent business and all the skill set, it's day in and day out, right? You didn't start out to be a rock star. You didn't start out selling a ton of houses. Every, every skill that you have in your agent business is also going to help you in your attraction success. So think about that. Make a list of all the things you're awesome at and that you're really, really good at. That is what is going to get you there. Now, someone did say, what got you here won't get you there. How many have heard that saying, right, with your agent business? I disagree. What got you here will get you there. So just think about all those reasons and skill sets that you have. Professionalism. It is one of my main missions to raise the bar of professionalism in our industry. We all need to rise up and raise that bar. Dave Kennard said not long ago on one of the growth calls, we don't have as many women leaders in our company. Dave, I'm one of your women leaders. But ladies, come on. I have them too. But I don't show them off. I never sat at the listing appointment with my girls hanging out. Get them off the signs. Get them off your social media. And let's be the professional company that we're supposed to be. Integrity. Take money out of the equation and you will always do the right thing, right? Always. So all these other things. Marketing. We all market in our agent business. It's super easy just to market in your traction business. Serendipitous meaningful collisions. Learned this from Mr. Glenn Sanford at the 10X conference just a month ago. I'm like, what? Everyone's like, he had to say it five times. None of us really got it at first. This is your realtor friends. You all have them, right? There's a realtor in every town. You drive through, there's a realtor. There's 6,000 of them in Naples, Florida alone. I can go to a bar and have a conversation. That's an attraction appointment. Non-agents, they are the best people to recruit with. Tell them the story of EXP. They love it. They're like, wow. And I'm like, who do you know that's a great agent? I get leads all the time from people that aren't even agents. Okay, so try that. That's, that's good. Your co-brokes, while you're having this uh, transaction, just talk to them. Again, they need help. Everyone, they need complimented. They need help. And your realtor designation groups and mastermind groups, there's so many realtors out there that need this model. Relationships is what has built my um, start of this, and that's what I'm keying into. With me being 25 years in the business, those are the agents I'm going after. Mr. John Facilio was an EXP. Uh, at, well, he's with EXP now. He just joined in January. And already he's recruited about 21 people. That's just since January. John, though, 
knew my husband, and they went to college together at Purdue University. So I knew John before he was even um, licensed, and he has six kids. Go after the people who have a lot of kids. They have big wives. <laughs> this is Bob and Carrie Andrews. They're in the crowd, too. <laughs> Bob has been in the business 35 to 40 years. Bob is 79 years old, so age should not matter on any of this, people. Bob has a huge why. Bob is a rock star. He's a 10x rock star. Attend events or host them. Here's just a few. We had tacos and talks the other day for my team in Indiana. And so, again, all this marketing, you can do this and incorporate it. It's super easy. We do EXP Explains. Get your marketing up to par. Hire someone to do some fun little marketing. Realtor Sunset Night. This didn't happen because of COVID, but I simply asked Jason Guessing to come to Naples, Florida, and he was going to do it, but then COVID happened. So, but just ask. This is an event we have planned. Kelly is a Marco Island agent. She also sells yachts and boats, so if any of you are wanting to buy one of those, she's an EXP agent now, formerly Remax. So, and then my team gets involved. It shouldn't have to be all about me. So if your team members, rise up. Have your own events. It doesn't have to be about your sponsor hosting them for you. Take the lead. Take the initiative. Give where we live. We do this every month. Let's be contributors in our communities. Let's be the leaders in our local communities. There should be no reason why we're not giving back to our local communities that help build our business. I started a charity in March, and I started it with my revenue share check. I actually felt a little guilty that in my hometown there was a lot of need. I'm in Naples. I'm like, what can I do? So I hurried up. I started this charity. We have over 11,000 Facebook group members in this group. It's called Crown Point Neighbors Helping Neighbors. My wish is that every single one of you in this room goes back into your community, and you be the leader in that community, and you just give back. And that is the best, actually, marketing. That will be my legacy, is this 501c3 that we've established. Other people's stages. Um, I'm going to wrap this up really quick. The, if someone asks you to speak, just do it. When they called me, I was nervous. I was like, I don't really deserve. I don't have big numbers yet. But take advantage of, if someone's offering to do a podcast, say yes. You don't know the lives that you're going to touch. People need to hear my story, your story, et cetera. Michael Mayer, he was a star power star. He asked me to be on stage. I actually recruited two agents after this that they reached out to me. So, again, say yes to these opportunities. Barbara Corcoran endorses me now. Brent and um, Joe, for, Joe Ferrara, yeah, had asked me. Clayton Gitz. Clayton said that he looked up to me. I didn't even know Clayton. And I was like, well, that's pretty cool that Clayton Gitz looked up to me. So uh, say yes. So these goal achievement tools, these are good for your agent business as well as your attraction business. I'm going to download all of these. These are things that we've year, used year after year to build a better realtor business. And you're going to get them. One is a personal development plan that gives you what you need to do to to um, improve your own skills. In order to do more, you must be more. So if you want to do more anything, whether it's sales, attraction, etc., rise up and make your own personal development. The GPS is a 135 form. That's your priorities, your strategies, your goal. It's your GPS. The pod form, this came from Jay Kinder like 20 years ago. Prioritize, optimize, and differentiate. How are you going to be different? Keep, start, stop. Take a look at your agent business and your attraction business. What are you going to keep doing that's working, especially after listening to all these fabulous speakers? What are you going to start doing that you haven't done? And what are you going to stop doing? Don't be the knucklehead like Kyle and Daniel said, right? What, how are we going to raise our game? Taking care of your own, I've decided that because I am a leader, I have 120 people now in my organization it's not up to my sponsor to help them. It's up to me to be the leader and start that group. So now I have the Caudel crew. I have 14 of them here. Where are you? And Zig Ziglar said it best. You don't have to, to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. 
So go start, make it happen, and let's all rise up as leaders.